Hi, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince, and in this video today we're going to be trying to fix up a modern MacBook Air, I think this one is, 2020. The reason I bought this one off eBay is because I really worked on this model maybe about a month or so ago. On that one, luckily, after three videos and lots of help from the comments, I did get it working to a level where it's usable. It's not ideal because you have to make sure you do a certain technique to turn it on and turn it off, otherwise the battery just drains even when the thing's off. There's a fault with one of the big chips on the inside and uh, I've tried now to buy that chip, not just for that, laptop but also for another MacBook that I was working on twice from AliExpress in China. First time the guy for some reason just didn't do anything for two weeks and then said that he wants extra money for me to have the chip because the price has moved up. I didn't want to pay extra money for it because it's just a con. I bought it at that price two weeks ago why didn't he ship it then? And then uh, yeah basically very threatening behavior telling me to cancel, cancel. So I just played along with the game and said, no, 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 I just let it go because uh, AliExpress was gonna cancel it because so, so much time had gone past anyway and I presume it gets a mark against his or her name. And then uh, I ordered off, off somebody else as well for way more money. This time I paid 28 pound for the chip. I thought this one has to be reliable. And sure enough, I just checked now because I thought, yeah, I've had no communication or anything. A month's gone by, expecting it to arrive any day now. And the sellers cancelled the order. Urgh, it's so annoying. Anyway, this one here I bought because I thought maybe I might know my way around the inside of it a bit more. But I haven't looked inside the shirt. I'm doing everything live here on camera, just uh, unboxing it and everything, so I don't know what's on the inside. But... I am becoming disheartened with buying new expensive products on eBay because I know definitely when you buy older products you can still get things that are repairable. But I think the majority of things on eBay when it comes to expensive items are probably not repairable because they've already been looked at by a professional. Obviously, if there was a professional that was better than the last professional, then it could still be fixable. But this is me we're talking about, so I think it's unlikely. I just wanna see if there's any names or addresses in here. Right, here we go. Right, it's nice that it comes with the charger. And this is it here. Let me just get the model number and stuff for you. So I'm thinking right now in this video, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be repairable. So you might not see a working product at the end. Obviously, if you're really worried about that and you don't just wanna see the process of it, then you can always fast forward to the end to see if I fixed it. And if I have, then you can go back and watch it. But you kind of spoilt the ending then. Uh, I... Uh, I would love to be proved wrong though. I would really like it if it was some horrible scratches there. I would really like it if it was just gonna be something like a dent as well. Just something like a capacitor or just something, something normal. Anyway, let's see what's what. Okay, model number and stuff. This one here is a model A2179 and then it says EMC3302. Right, first things first, let's see if we've got any power going into this thing. I'm just going to use my charging cable here because I know it works. I can worry about the other one later. Ooh, that interesting. It's just flicking on and off. Can you see that? Right, let's try the other port. Nothing at all. Well, isn't that weird? Let's try that one again. Well, I wasn't expecting that. So it's not even trying to turn on. Let's hold down the power button. Let's, let's unplug it, hold down the power button. Let me just try something. Option, Command, Shift for seven seconds. I think that's the, I think that's the combo. And now, the power button. Right, okay, let's see if it does anything now. No. Ooh, right, okay. Well, that's interesting for me. So I haven't personally seen that before, not that I've done many of these. Right, let's get into it. You need a pentalope to get into these. A P5.
But I'll shout out the My Mate Vince Massive at the beginning of the video here. So that's kitdigital.com, Kip Hakes, and Max Rokotansky. Having Fun Repairs, Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service, Will Michaelis, Chris Seal, Felipe at mrkeebs.com. I love saying that. Felipe at mrkeebs.com is addictive. King Curd from Lowbook Auto Sales, DJVG, Robert from Timsey's Auto Air, Albert at www.fartoutsounds.co.uk, Stuart Park, Ellis Garbutt, Pigsy, that's another one that's nice to say. Braden Butts from Connecticut, and the My Mate Vince fan club. Check out the My Mate Vince fan club if you're interested in some of the old items that I've had on my uh, channel, because bit by bit they're giving away various different things. Now, are we gonna see a load of water damage? I think from memory in the eBay uh, listing, I think it showed the inside, I don't think it looked too bad. I think it looked perfect, actually. Right, excellent. Well, there's no water damage there at all, is there? Now. So, is something putting a short on it? Is that what the problem is? First things first, let's uh, I mean, I can't see any signs of corrosion here. Unless, of course, it's been cleaned previously. Let's uh, pop the battery out. Looks like the battery's been, uh, looks like this has been rolled over, so somebody's been in here. Let's see what's happening with that little, there's a little light there, isn't there? drawing anything at all. Oh, here we go. Nah. So the ports are acting differently to each other. Is anything happening there? Oh, we've got the lights on here though. Are the lights flashing on and off? Look. You see that there? Let's try to hit that button here. No, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just see if we've got any uh, voltage on any of these. Uh, I think this was the one I had a fault with before, the one that was on that line there. So let's just check for voltage around the place here. See if we're getting anything. Right, so we've got 3.2 volts there. So why have we got a steady 3.2 volts, which I think might be the correct voltage there, if, oh no, there you go, it's dropped to zero. I was gonna say, because it's, the power's coming and going. But yeah, it seems uh, it seems more stable than I thought. I thought it'd be dropping out more than that. Is it going to drop out again? Maybe it was my leads. If the power's coming and going, why is uh, why is that stable? Strange. It is stable, isn't it? So I suppose what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go through the power rails and see what. Uh, where we stop having power. Or what I could do is unplug that. I could check for shorts, couldn't I? It all looks okay to begin with, doesn't it? I'd love to have one that's fixable. See, four ohms there probably isn't a short. That's probably quite normal. Uh, so what we should see is, 
this will go to 5 volts and then it will quickly go up to 20 volts and then it will turn on and it's not doing that, it's not even giving 5 volts so, uh, but so far I haven't seen any shorts let's just quickly check on some of these capacitors so on these big tantalum ones it's the actual side with the bands, you know, with the line that is the positive 7 ohms so if I've seen something that was like 1 ohm then I think, okay, yeah, that might be, uh, that will hopefully be a short. This is all looking fine so far. Right, okay, what we'll do is, let's start disconnecting things one by one in case, for example, the screen's putting a fault on the, uh, on the on, you know, putting some sort of short on it. Right, I'm using a Torx 4 for these bits. It definitely doesn't look messed around with though, does it? Right, so that's the screen disconnected, let's see now if it's doing anything. No, same as before. So now let's disconnect the uh, the trackpad down here. I'm wondering, I can't remember if that disconnects the keyboard as well. Just in case maybe water spilt on the keyboard and it's knocked something out down here. Might try it again. No, same thing again. Well, the very fact it's working somewhat there and not here at all. Maybe there's a problem with this area here. Because look, it's not doing anything there, is it? I'm just going to try plucking that lead in the other way around. Oh. Oh, no, isn't that weird? What's that about? So now when we plug it in here, will it not work? No, so it's only working one way round. Well, that's interesting. But it's not working properly, but it's only doing something one way round. Right, okay, let's uh, disconnect this. I'm safe to work on it now because I've got the battery disconnected, you see. Just going to zoom in on that, I felt a little bit crunchy. I think that looks okay. Let's have a little look in the port. They look okay? I think they do. Yeah, I think they look fine. Do you know what? Let's take the board out. Deary me, I'm editing this video and I've realised I haven't even told you what I paid for this. And that's the whole point of this video here, because I got this one for a bargain, £199.99p. Then I had to pay £7.49 postage on it. So if I can get it working, that is a very good price because I'm pretty sure the screen alone would probably cost up on that price. And it just says MacBook Air A2179 40 unit does not power up. 8 stroke 512 gigabytes. That must be uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, the storage is 512 gigabytes. And then in the description, it just says got from office in a bundle of laptops. Looks to be in good condition. However, it does not power up. I have opened it up to see for any obvious signs of damage, but I cannot see any. Lock status is unknown, which is slightly worrying. Comes with laptop and charger. Sold as seen. Buy at your own risk. No returns. So, uh, yeah, that's it there. Let's get back to taking this board out. Uh, 
Okay, that's everything disconnected now. So I've plugged that back in. Let's see if it's doing anything different. Right, so no, it's still not working that side. And doing the same thing that side. Right, okay. So it's nothing that's connected to the board. It must be something on the board itself or possibly this connection here. Let's take the board out. Well, we're free. So let's have a little look on this side here. I'm going to undo this as well. Oh, oh no, 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 we've got a problem here. Look, excellent. Imagine if it was just that. Now that would be unbelievable for an eBay buy. Check this out. Now, right, we've got some real nice spark in there, haven't we? Have we got it on the other side? Yes, we have. Those pins have burnt through. Now, is that because water got into that side of the board, or is it something on the actual, you know, water got into this side of the laptop, or is there something on the board that caused these to fail? Let's see if we can clean them with some IPA. Imagine, imagine, seriously, imagine if it was just that. That would be unbelievable. Using some isopropyl alcohol. 99.9%. I'm just going to get some gloves because my hands are starting to heal a little bit and I don't want to dry them out again. Now obviously this part can be replaced. I just want to see what's happening with it. I presume these things have burnt through. So I suppose this was the reason it was connecting one way, but not, not the other way. Realistically though, if like one of the power pins is shorted to a data pin, it's going to have blown the chip, isn't it, that these connect to. At least I've got an indication now of something. Is it the same pin? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yeah. Well, this one's better. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's the same pin on every one of them. One, two, three, and four. Well, I'm just going to pop that back on just to see if that's made any difference. I don't think it will have. I think it's probably whatever this is connected to that's gone, or maybe this is kind of blown inside. It's just that, uh, just in case there was like a short, you know, just in case that corrosion was causing a short. Right, let's see what it's gonna do now. Right, still nothing. Oh my God, it's, oh my God, it's come on, it's come on. Is it going to go further though? Oh my god. It went, no, it dropped down again. 50? 
Not sure. I don't think that's turned on, but we haven't got any screen or battery or anything connected. Well, that's fantastic. Wow. So that's still not doing anything, but that's fine. That might be just, well, it could be that chip on that side. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's plug it into here. And let's turn this round and see if it does anything. No, so it's not working that way at all. Let's pop it back in and see if we have any life on the screen. Do you know what? I've had a horrible thought. Imagine if I did get it working, but then if it was like iCloud lot. Because it said this came out of a job lot. So the one that sold it to me isn't going to have any info on it, are they? Yeah, I can see a little bit of water damage on that bit there. That covers that bit up. Can you see just here? So that's slightly crunchy, look. Compared to there. Hmm, so that bit got hit. Right, well, I think that's in enough to test. I haven't got the aerials connected, but that's not going to affect it. Right, okay. Let's see now what's going to do. So let's plug it into here and plug it in. Right, nothing there. Okay, gone to 20 volts. 0.4 amps. Is it going to drop or is it going to stay? 0 0.5, 0 0.9, that's good, isn't it? Amazing. Are we going to get the Apple logo? Oh my god, oh what? <laughs> oh my my! Is it going to go further? Is it going to be locked? I might have to blur this bit out. Is it going to do anything else? See, I don't know what it should be reading here. I suppose it depends if the battery's charged up and or not. Okay, it seems pretty slow. On the one that I did in the second video, it was ridiculously slow. Uh, but then when I changed the battery, it all started working perfectly, apart from the turning on and off issue. Is it going to do anything else? We haven't got any bar below it, have we? Caps lock's not working. Went up to one amp now though. It's climbing. 1.2 amps, this is looking good. We got the bar. Go on, go on, come on, come on, come on. On my one, it used to stop about uh, a little bit more than now and just stay there for ages. Look at that, 1.5, it went up to 1.9. I'd be great if I could get this one working for 200 quid, if all I need to do was change that out that little bit there. I can hear the fan spinning. Come on, come on. Brilliant. Oh, not so good though. 
because it's come up with a name and I'm not going to know the password, am I? Looks like it's charging though. Right, how am I going to do this? One second, let me just, because I, obviously I have to blank out that. Or do I really have to blank that out if it's just a name? Right, okay. Can you see up here, it is showing that it's charging. Right, I am going to do a little bit of research and find out, uh, like, you know, if there's a name, can it be reset or something? I don't, let's see, I don't know any of this. So obviously it's got a name that's asking for a password. I'm not going to know the password. But that's fantastic. So what I need to do is I need to put a new one of these new little connector in down here. But there's no point in doing that. One second. Let's get the name off the screen. There's no point in doing that if, for example, it's iCloud locked because this can only be used as spares. Still a, still a good machine because probably the keyboard and everything's going to be working and we know the screen's working. So I think it's worth £200 all day long even just for the screen because I think these are... I don't know how much they are new, £800-ish, so maybe £900, uh, and this is 2020, so it's not exactly old, so I'm pretty sure that the value of the stuff here will easily be worth £200. It'd just be nice if I could actually use it rather than uh, you know, just have it for spares. In a way, it's a shame I don't know who the owner is because I'm sure they might be interested in it back for 400 quid. You know, they might have their data and stuff on here and that might be worth more to them. And then I could have a nice easy double my money and they'd be happy with a MacBook for 400 quid with their data back. Right, okay, uh, leave it with me for a bit. But yeah, good news. Maybe not the most interesting of videos, but still, I haven't actually got it working yet, have I? Bear with me. Apologies, it's going to be a minute later. So what I'm going to do is... You've seen that I've got it working with this, but it's still not working here. I presume those pins have actually burnt internally in here. This isn't really something you're going to be able to fix. It's all sealed. I'm not going to be, you know, running, trying to run a wire from here to here. It's just not going to work. I've already got one of these from another one that I've got. I think the one with the clicking CPU or the water damage one, I'm not too sure, but I'm sure I'll be able to use that from here. What I am going to do is just in case in here might be a little bit gunky, I'm just going to clean in where the... Uh, you know, the water damage was. So now, this one here is the replacement one. And if you have a look, can you see it's completely burnt out on the pins here. So there's actually a pin missing. Just, where's it gone? Here. So I can't use that one. And uh, yeah, that's the only replacement I've got. Now, I've been looking at this one here. And the reason it's burnt out is because if we go to ground, which is there, the pin next to the one that's burnt is ground. Yeah, so the third pin is... Ah, oh, no, it's not, hold on. That's where it's burnt through then, that's why it's, uh, that's why it's causing the problem. One, two, three, nothing. One, one, two, three, ah. Now this is interesting, check this out. So this is a hopefully good working one. You can see it looks kind of clean. We have the same model number here, 821-01658-A. So that's the same as the other one. Now, do you remember the longer ones were ground? And I was thinking, well, they must be, you know, they must be ground. They're not. So that's the problem with the original one. So listen here, I'm on the ground here. Nothing here and nothing here. On this one here, Nothing here and nothing here. So on the other two, they're faulty. This one here and this one here and this one here and this one here. So that's the problem. On the other one, we've got grounds on here and the other side of that one, which is causing an issue. There shouldn't be a ground on that one, and yet they're coming up as grounds. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased. So now what I have to do is uh, put it all back together and see if I can find out whether or not this is locked. And I've got a horrible feeling it might be. Just to explain what I'm doing now, I've swapped over that part down there and then I held down Command R and turned the laptop on and then it asked you to choose your language. I did English UK and now it's brought me into another menu and I clicked Disk Utility. And now I'm gonna to try to delete what's on here, 
which will hopefully reset the uh, the Mac. The battery is completely flat, there's only 2%. I think that's why it's taking quite a long time to boot up and stuff. So hopefully now I'll be able to get a bit of charge into the battery and that might start working again. But uh, this is early stages yet, so I'm gonna try to delete it and then reinstall it as if it's a new Mac. Obviously it means all the old data's gone, but I don't know who this person is. Uh, that's just unfortunate to them it probably means something obviously to me it means nothing and I need this to work because I haven't got their password so uh, yeah I'm gonna be wiping it and then hopefully I'll be able to uh, set it up again as a complete new Mac okay that seems to be different than what I used to do on the other MacBook but uh, I'm not sure whether I've actually erased it or not but anyway I'm trying to now reinstall Mac OS Big Sur Let's see what happens if it goes through or not So I don't quite get it because I seem to have three drives on it. But when I pressed erase, they're still there. So I don't know, maybe you have to unmount them or something? I don't know. Anyway, let's put it on that one there. About two hours and 21 minutes remaining. Well, hopefully it won't be that because I've got pretty quick internet. So, uh, and we've got 8% now it's gone up to. So the battery's definitely charging. Well, that's certainly looking very promising. I wonder whether it isn't locked then. It'd be amazing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just transferring the data across from my daughter's older 2017 MacBook that I fixed in a previous video and I'm going to be putting it onto this one and if it's all working okay then I'm going to surprise her with it at the end of this video. Okay, great news. Migration is complete. I think this is all going to be just uh, successful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can update it to the latest uh, Mac OS. So I think that's Monterey. So uh, yeah, really, really, really good news. Now I was looking at the charger and the actual charger itself looks okay. I've just cleaned off the sticky mess from it, but the lead itself is not okay. Well, it is, it works, but when you look closely in here, you can see burning under two of the pins, corresponding I presume to the pins on here, but the burning is on both sides. So although I've cleaned them, I'm sure it will work, I'm worried because underneath the pins, there's a kind of little pit, a little indentation under both of them where it's burnt the plastic. So I think it'd be quite easy for the pins to become crossed. So for the sake of a lead, although it would work, I think if the wires were to get crossed, maybe it could blow a chip in here. So I think it's probably best to uh, not use this lead here. I think it would be a bit risky in this instance. Maybe it could, could be used for maybe for just like charging up a, a cheaper USB-C item but I think for a MacBook, it would be worth getting a, a proper lead. Right, so here we have it. I've cleaned it all up. We've got Monterey on it and everything is working absolutely fine. The Touch ID is working, the screen brightness is working, the volume's working. Everything that I've looked at is working, even the front facing camera. So if I go onto FaceTime, you can see here, that is working. What I would like to know is this is a 2020 laptop. Well, actually, I haven't checked that on the serial number. I'm just going by the eBay advert. Why even on a 2020 uh, laptop like this is the front facing camera still worse than any camera on any phone for the last five years? I don't really get that. Is it to do with the thickness? Because it has to be quite thin and maybe on a phone it can be like twice, uh, twice the thickness. It's kind of weird because an expensive product and it's not just because it's Apple. Well, that might be one of the reasons, but uh, I've had a look on other ones as well, on uh, other laptops I have, and they're even worse. And some of them are not that old. So uh, yeah, I don't know why the front-facing cameras always seem to be so bad. Anyway, it is working. If I go to Safari here, everything is working just fine. So uh, very, very, very happy with it. I can't believe it was only 200 pound. I can't believe it was such an easy repair all fixed from a part that you can get all day long again from eBay for under 10 UK pounds so wasn't that interesting the very fact is that was putting some kind of short on it because on both ports we had that pin shorted to ground and that's the reason why it was uh, probably trying to connect dying trying to connect dying trying to connect dying what, here Claude do you want to uh, cheers for the lend of the laptop Oh my gosh. Do you, do you know what that oh is? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guess what? What? You got it working. I fixed it. Look at it. It's the, <gasps> it's the 2020 it. model. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> do you? Yes. Look at this when you go down here. These things all move. Oh my gosh. Oh no, why does that move like that? Hold on, watch. One second. Oh. Look at that. 
I got you all set up on I'm it. Like really? Yeah. Thank you. Do you want it? Yes. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. How good is that? Thank you, Dad. I love this one. <laughs> I love it. So yeah. it's not going to break? No, it's no. Yeah. guess what was wrong with it? What? There's a tiny little connector in here, yeah. bit of water damage, <laughs> £7.50, I already had one, that's yeah. £7.50, and that was now it, it's working. and it's working perfectly, <laughs> there's nothing, you. the inside's immaculate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's because you've done a lot of hard work. <laughs> I've got your reaction on camera, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Anyway, say bye. bye to everybody, see you later, bye. bye. I was old, I was young. I was sitting in the sun I was tired of the run I was done Life was great, life was hard In a way an awful card You can't win the losing hand But the rain stopped falling And the line on And the pain I'd been feeling Washed away to return another day I was cold, I was bold I had fragmented my soul Into pieces contradicting themselves Perhaps it is, as it is, how the world is the mess, means that every heart and soul.